Hello and welcome back to Wolf and Friends Gaming. I am Wolf and I am pretty happy right now because I have nobody in the dorm right now and that thing at the top, holy shit, is actually done pretty much what I'm feeling. So we are playing Valhalla, if you can't read that awesome font. The Cyberpunk Bartender Action. So let's play it. Uh, I, th I played a little bit around, is there anything? Load. Yeah. I played a little bit, but I did. I was unable to do the recording because of roommates. So me and boss, super kawaii. Four. So who was that letter from, Jill? Nobody. Nice T-shirt and panties. Nice room all around though. That's pretty. Cool. Is that tennis? So I didn't look around the room as much. So let's go to work. Tuesday, December thirteenth. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Gillian? When will you let people call you Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno, she went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something. You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff like zombies and the newest Resident Evil movie. That was complete dumb. It was so dumb. Fucking Wesker's dead because he bleeds out. What stuff? Well, I'll have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful. And, uh, that's the fact that I spent a while yesterday apparently talking to myself. Yes? Damn it. Yeah, you can change the channels. I'll just go on to blank. Uh, not blank. We watch. We protect. We are Overwatch. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> That's your no signal channel. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. Okay, so I'm not too far off from her. On top of that, new neutering floor left me with a complete empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss run again. And there's all the beer cans in my apartment. No. Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me. But bear with me for a second here, okay? Don't know why the butt was a complete other sentence. Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipes in the navigation bar. Blah, 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 blah. Here's all the... The kill. One done, but. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Gil wants a sugar rush or a piano man. Alright then. Spy name. Uh, let's try let's try piano man. I tried this because if you do the piano man, it's just. Okay, you're done with it. So it's five of these. I have to drag over. Four. Five. Five Bronson. Two Power Deltas. Three of these bad boys and three of Carmotrins. And is it on the ice or anything? Let's see. Oh, okay, so nothing. So mix it. Damn it. Okay. Screw this. Let's go with the other one then. Two Aldehydes, one Power Delta, all the Carmotrin. Because you. Because the more you. This doesn't. Carmotrin is just the amount of alcohol in it. All mixed. Three, four, five, uh, yeah, sir. Here, happy now. A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Uh, I don't know, please humor me. But, so subjects need to be blended, and that's where you shake it. Oh, like, su that's where you shake it just super fast. What are these things? Okay. This number mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. So you need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Yeah, I know this part. Should be noted that for the station, we'll add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind, though, just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast. Alright, so you want by name, so let's go M. Mars blast, Mercury blast, moon blast. God, I fucking love that. Alright, so six aldehydes, one power delta, one flanagride, two of these, and on the rocks. And blended. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and uh, 
five. Should we end faster? There we go. Sir. Did I amuse you long enough? You did, sorry to hold you. That's good working. <laughs> uh, before I forget, you can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. That's right. If the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmotrin, it means you can add donut and fill it to the brim. Yeah, it doesn't count because make, making a drink, of course, is the alcoholic factor, so you can just get them drunk. Now I am, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, but... Eh? Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that? That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have to work to... We have work to do, damn it. That... She just doesn't... There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> Do you think Chief knocked her out? No, it's unlikely. She'd be, cr she'd be crying about her taunting us <laughs> if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We just need to keep her quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay, then, time to start the night. Yes, yeah, so I'll start working while you go to go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Kill. You've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like... Actual dogs came in? I mean, only in Zexel will I believe that. But this? Jeez. So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have, this model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. And what was the logic behind that decision? Jukebox 3, okay. Let's go city that never sleeps then. Ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, you, get me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. He wants a beer. I don't know what that is, though. Bad touch. There's a thing called bad touch. Okay, what? One aldehyde, two Bronson extracts, one power delta, two of these, and is there anything? Okay, so. Four traditionally brewed beer comes has become a luxury. Wow. Okay, mix. Success. There's your beer. There you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. That beer wasn't enough, so it was like... So, want a bigger one? Fine, then I'll double all this sh stuff. Two of these. One, two, three, four of these. Two of these. Four of these bad boys, and eight Carmotrins. Oh, it's already there. Okay. I wonder if mixing has to take longer. There's your beer. How about this one? Ah, yes, now that's this one. This one's fit for a man like me. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like me. Although, to be fair, work's taking me to worst hellholes like New Jersey 3, yet I'm giving him a southern accent. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? Donovan. You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, the Triple D. Chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the bras of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Why'd you get plastic surgery for the kids? Uh, 
No, oh, Cyberpunk. Well, I'm not one complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice underscore Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add glitch. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? Oh, hey, I made the thing is 700. Sweet. For a beer? Wow. People get dis. 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 dis uh, people get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. The word you're looking for is desensitized. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Funny how th that you have that, and something like that recently happened. Out of ra uh, stupid racism of this country, but... Mirroring real world is just... That, that's complete coincidence. It's just weird. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a... Jeez! Death's yeah, not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make them, and you can make them any shit you want. Spam them while they're high, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the re the kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, this column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? Oh gosh, is he using- He really writes about the places the newspaper sends him- Yep, he's using- He's just writing off of their money. We even heard he tries to get free me up by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying that he was a critic or whatever. Did you look at a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a... I already did! Coming right up. I just barely think I'm cheaper in bulk at the store though. That... that it does, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna double up on it again. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I start a kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hell <laughs> Way to describe it. Please stop referring to this place as a- Yeah, even Jill agrees with me. If I- if a place smells like soap and darkness, I'm within my constant. Okay, that's not your constitutional rights, mainly. Unless you're just... I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be a fan by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish... Or the hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people, or if you don't- if you want me to- I'm not gonna regard you as a celebrity, I'm gonna regard you as another person because that's what you are, you're just a customer. If you're a celeb- if you're an A-list celebrity, you're still a customer, I can drink with this shit if I want to. Those are the red carpet kind of famous. 
Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love what? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love it so much, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. Eh, maybe. They want to see them suffer, to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Now I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They wanted to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. What? I don't understand that. What is with what is against socks and sandals? I do it quite a bit. Why is it so heinous? Gosh, that Sandra and Wu comic actually makes sense now. I'll put a link to it in the description below because it's a funny comic. Oh please, as a bar oh please, as a bartender, I believe you have a strong voyeuristic streak. You're kind, always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers, that sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sense the out there what people do. I don't care what they do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. That's what it was. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. Well, this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfectly untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, and doing in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for more little, for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Okay, you can really handle your beers. Cause I've given you, let's see, four from, I've given you four in the original. I've given you 20 drops of current Motrin already. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that dude that plays that nice guy is indeed really a nice guy, or is a complete asshole. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're just instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? What you can play that game of? Hmm. Hey, you're a bot, <laughs> right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm waste my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like t it would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got ex excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all of this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting half of our staff. They do? Oh, you could be ghostwriting half our staff already do it. You don't really think Lena Smithy is just one person, do you? Ah, oh, so it's that thing. Anyway, eventually the people from the stories will know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. <laughs> Oh, and it would be, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is still waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all, I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or Boss. Boss is just the title, it's too impersonal and cold. It is. Mr. Dawson was my father and a grandfather, it's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss, but to me! I feel like a god! You want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. I want them to fear me. <laughs> I was on the right track of this god complex. Not because I'm their boss or their name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah, you were asking something. What was it?
I'm sorry, I'm just gonna check the time because I've gotta get to the library at some point, as well as look into game maker stuff. Drink another one, do you? Ah, oh, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remember to have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to work myself up. I can do that. Something bitter and big with no alcohol. Alright, what is it by type? Uh. Bitter, big, no. Uh. Oh, flavor, duh. Bitter. Let's give him a gut punch. Alright. So, I'm. I'm I, want, I don't care. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna get this guy drunk. Bitter and bi- oh wait. Alright, let's fill it with these then, because I can do that. Uh, one of these, because there's no- there's no way I can double a gut punch, because that would just- Because Bross is already at ten- oh no. I am doubling it, sorry. And fill it with Carmotrin. Okay, so what is this? All aged and mixed. Okay, so, if it just mixed, not blended, it's gonna be- Couple seconds of this. Success! Give him a good punch! Here. Sniff. Kid, I just said I need to stop the alcohol. No, <laughs> oh, dang it, he picked up on it. Sorry, force of habit. Say, kid, is this bar of any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over this place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first white. Uh, he was going there. Gosh dang it! Those bastards think of they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's. I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing, and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their nose and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to union, the government, and those kinds of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Weasley even told me that they need more clicks. MORE CLICKS! I make sure to keep that stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject the ideas. They'll know who the hell Diamond D. Dawson is. Did I get him super drunk? Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. And... Wait. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Jill! Jill! So I just want to try the Chris Redfield thing. I, I was, it was bad, I'm sure. Yes. What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have, requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think the short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the jeez. You're like a Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Gillian will remember that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, client. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, okay. Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. I just made a gut punch. That's hilarious. So it's bitter. Gut punch. I think I doubled it as well. Two of those. And rest with Tarmotrin, because why the heck not? And it's aged. Doom. Here. Hmm. You can actually deal with that. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Who the hell are you? And what's with your neck? It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm sorry you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. <laughs> what the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Ingram. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. It was an incident over the weekend, but it's Tuesday. Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? 
Somebody recommended me to this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all I'm starting to, and I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Sweet! Hey Jill, where did you put the dish soap? Jill's gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall riders all by herself, knocking them out cold one by- Jeez! That's an achievement, and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed riders with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in, with, in, shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients, personally, about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest an alpaca. Alpaca? Not oh, okay. But, there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming like she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards, and the boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver. Please, that's what I... Please, that's what I haven't heard today. Coming right up. I almost, honestly feel like suplexing him, though. Look, so... They're both bitter. Hmm... Let's give him this pile driver. There's your pile driver. Here. Hmm, that's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an or- <laughs> What? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you've ever faked it. What? That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a- <laughs> I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give you meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked the organ? <sighs> you look like you have lots of experience. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really, I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack at <laughs> Of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Are you thinking of drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Alright, I don't know what kind of thing that is, so... Frothy water, frothy fringe. Let's make it... I'll just make it big for him, because screw it. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty howl. Am I get? Is my getting him drunk making him depressed and gonna make me possibly depressed? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Oh, very wrong voice. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you ever tried, t have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid things. No, it doesn't, actually. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising, faking an orgasm. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once, it was like a bloody Russian roulette of STD, so I left midway. I don't wanna age restrict this. I oh, let's burn my Christmas bonus hiring three women for a porn is more amusing and way cheaper. Oh, for an order. I bought the hard a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years. What? Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't. At least you shouldn't. Gray is a sex addict. 
I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I was expecting you to help me, or believe me. Eh. I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Yeah, I know that. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count it. The reason why I believe people, even if they are lying, because I want to give them the benefit of a doubt. At times. And if it's a serious thing, like they're about to harm themselves, then I accept, I accept that as full truth and try to help, because I don't want that to be truth. There, no, I, I don't want that. If it's... Never mind. If Basically, if you're lying, I'll probably believe it. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. 2069 Shikaban Games. Oh, that was the intro, sweet. At Shikaban Games. Save this. So, just put that counter up. So, what's my timer at now? Uh, okay, it's at about 30 minutes. But since this is gonna be the first episode, I would go farther, but you know what, screw it now. I'm just gonna save here. And, yeah, this is Valhalla. Because of, uh, the reason I chose this game, it's February, month of love. Those that don't get love will st are stereotyped in going to bars, so I might as well be the bartender to help them out and solve their troubles. And that kind of stuff. So, this has been Wolf and Friends Gaming, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.